and it's strong. Naughty, neat, scatterbrained, and just plain wrong. What a crazy, cool commotion. Mr. Manliness. Oh, yeah. Well, who's really funny? Pretty, who's small? Who's always in trouble? Who's bouncy? Who's tall? Well, there's never been a group like this. Well, they're bumpy and bumpy, they'll tickle you too. They're dizzy and forgetful, just like me and you. They got every kind of face, every kind of mood. Sometimes so splendid and sometimes so rude. Well, who's always nosy, who's full of sunshine? Who's such a chatterbox to drive you out of your mind? Well, there's never been a group like this. Yeah, there's never been a group of friends quite like this. So hold on to your hat. Or Mr. Man, little miss. Hello, I'm the news lady. It's sleepy time in Mr. Land. Oh, could you keep it down, please? Sorry. It's sleepy time in Mr. Land. Try to sleep. Thank you. Well, he didn't have to yell. Oh, sweet, every monster. There. Now that Buddy is asleep, I'm going to have myself a nice big bowl of cereal and milk. Gee, I sure would like some cereal and milk, too. I know. I'll play a trick on Pal. I'm going to pretend I'm sleepwalking. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing here? I thought you were asleep. I am asleep. I am sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? Gee, you're not supposed to wake somebody up when they're sleepwalking because you don't want to scare them. Yeah, that's right. I mean... <laughs> Buddy, are you sure you're sleepwalking? What's that? I mean, pass the milk, please. Mmm. Night, night. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if he was really sleepwalking. <sighs> Listen to me. I sound like Mr. Worry. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Mr. Worry and the Giant. Oh. Mr. Worry was out looking for problems. Leaves on the ground. The next thing you know, it might be a branch, and then a whole tree might fall down on top of you. Oh, a butterfly. The next thing you know, it's not a butterfly at all. It's a wasp, and you've been stung on the nose. Paths can lead anywhere. Sometimes they lead nowhere. They can even lead to caves that dragons live in, who eat anyone who comes too close. Mr. Worry ran off as fast as his legs could carry him, and because he was running so fast, he didn't see where he was going. Down through the hole, Mr. Worry fell until eventually... Oh! He reached the bottom. Oh! Hello, Mr. Worry! Where am I, Mr. Lazy? Uh, this is easy, Bill. No one worries about anything around here now, do they, Mr. Daydream? Nothing at all, Miss Sunshine. Oh? <laughs> Hello, Miss 
Mr. Worry. Mr. Worry had never been anywhere quite so relaxed before. So? Welcome to Easyville, Mr. Worry. Jump in. Where are you going? Wait and see. How long will it take? What if we get lost? Well, why don't you stop your worrying, Mr. Worry, and just enjoy the ride? Who's there? It's Mr. Worry to see the giant. Giant? I don't want to see a giant. Come in. We thank you. Hi. Now stop your worrying. He's very friendly. Come on in. Oh. 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 Everything's very big in here, isn't it? And of course it's big. He's a very big giant. Stop worrying, Mr. Worry. Oh. Hello and good day, Mr. Worry. Why are you in p p pajamas? Because I spend all day in bed not worrying about anything. I'm a little worried about you, though, my friend. Oh, you are? Yes, I am. You do worry too much. So I want you to eat one of these candies whenever you start to worry. Right. Thank you. I will. Goodbye, Mr. Giant. Goodbye, Mr. Woody. And stop your worrying. Ugh. Ugh. How am I going to get home? I don't even know how I got here. I'll never see my friends again. You're worrying again, Mr. Worry. Oh, yeah. So I am. And as soon as Mr. Worry started chewing one of the giant's magic candies, guess what happened? We've been really worried about you, Mr. Worry. Haven't we, Miss Snake? We have, Mr. Bump. Very worried. Oh, where am I? In the woods. Maybe you hit your head on a big tree. And in a flash, he remembered falling oh. down the hole and meeting oh. the gnome and visiting the giant oh. in the oh. huge castle. Oh. And on his way home, Mr. Worry suddenly thought of something. Oh, if it was all a dream, then there's no such place as Easyville, and no friendly old giant who looks after people who worry a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, the candies. Maybe there is a friendly old giant. Maybe it was the dream, after all. <laughs> but Mr. Mento will be back after these messages. And now, back to the Mr. Men Show. <laughs> I just had the funniest dream. Well, mine was it. I dreamt that I ate the world's biggest marshmallow. <laughs> That's not funny. No, but when I woke up, my pillow was gone. <laughs> so tired. Now that Buddy's finally asleep, I'm going to have myself a nice big mug of Mr. Small's homemade hot chocolate and go right to bed. Mmm. I smell a nice big mug of Mr. Small's homemade hot chocolate. Well, yeah. time to get sleepwalking. Oh, Buddy, are you sleepwalking again? Yeah, that's the idea. Mmm. Give me that. I was just going to drink that, mm. buddy. What? It's delish. Oh, I don't have the energy. I'm too mm. tired. Oh, this uh. is really... Pal? Hey, pal, are you asleep? <laughs> nice hot chocolate, Mr. Small. This is great. <laughs> Mr. Small's Big Dream. Little Miss Greedy, Mr. Skinny, Mr. Busy, and Mr. Small are all excited today because they're going to the fair. I can't wait. We're going to see a terrific show. A real live animal act. It's incredible. Oh, bumper cars. Oh. I'm the best. You'll see. Hang on. That's not the way to the show. 
Oh, just one turn, Mr. Small. Come on. <laughs> hey, wait for me! Oh, out of my way! This is for boys in the big leg, Mr. Small! <laughs> Poor Mr. Small. Cotton candy, cotton candy. Who wants cotton me, candy? Me, me, I do. Me too! Me. What, 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 what about the show? I'll take three. Just a snack for me, please. Can I have a small one? Here we are. <laughs> Thank you. How rude can you get, Mr. What do you Greedy? expect, little Miss Greedy? You're way too slow. Um, can I have one, please? There you go. Oh, thanks. Delicious. What about me? Good friend. <laughs> I hope Mr. Small doesn't really like cotton candy. Step right up, ladies and gents. Who wants to challenge the strongest man in the world? How would you like a chance to take him on, Mr. Busy? Oh, I'm much too busy. How about stepping up Mr. Small? What? Oh, that's very funny. Can we go and see the show now? Ooh, funny mirrors. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> I'm not sure I really like this! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, this is only for boys in the big league, Mr. Busy! Cotton candy? Who wants cotton candy? <laughs> Give me a really big one! Give me the biggest one you have! Oh, boy, it's so great to be big. So, no one wants to volunteer. You're not brave. You're a bunch of chickens. Well, I'm not afraid of that weakling. Three, two, one, go. Meet the strongest man in the world. <laughs> You got the job. Well, Mr. Small, did you forget about the show? <laughs> How could I, Miss Greedy? Four, please, sir. I'm sorry, but there's no show today. The trainer is hurt. Well, I can take his place if you want. <laughs> I've already seen the show three times. Oh, no, Mr. Small. That's ridiculous. You can't. Hmm. I suppose that we could. Okay, you're hired. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> this will be funny. Mr. Small was feeling pretty big. He had always dreamt of being an animal trainer, and at last he had found animals just the right size. <laughs> the Mr. Men Show will be back after these messages. And now, back to the Mr. Men Show. We must move Frank and Cloud from the laboratory. He goes, we sleep. But how? You take one end, I'll take the other, and we lift. Ready? One, two, three. Ready as we switch sides. Good idea. One, two, three. I seem to be trapped back here. Yes, but listen. He's not snoring anymore. Yes. Good work, aha. Time for bed. Uh, 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 doctor. Mr. 
is going to be a long night. And now, the news lady. Hello, I'm the news lady. As you know, the Tooth Fairy is on vacation, and in her place is... Is me! Caveman! Hi, Mommy. Uh, now, Mr. Caveman. Yes? Do you feel you have what it takes to be a good Tooth Fairy? Oh, definitely, News Lady. Caveman have fancy hat, just like the Tooth Fairy. Yes, I see it. It's very nice. All right. And Caveman have magic fairy dust, just like the Tooth Fairy. To put little boys and girls to sleep? Yeah. Right. And Caveman have magic wand, just like the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, right. But does that magic wand actually work? Well, um, I think so. Let me see. I like to zoom. Yep, it works all right. Whoa, caveman better go. He doesn't want to be like Little Miss Lady. Little Miss Late finally catches up. Good morning, world, said Little Miss Late, who had just woken up. Oh, time for breakfast, I think. This is the lunchtime news. Lunchtime already? Oh. And here's an important news flash. The first six people to arrive today at the big store will get all of their shopping free. Oh, listen to that. I should hurry. Now, let's see. What should I do? I know. I'll have a bath. So she did. And then she dried her hair. Oh, look at the time. And then she made her bed. There. All done for when I come home. And finally she was ready to leave. Who knows? Maybe I'll even be the first one there. But by the time Little Miss Late reached the big store, the first six people were already leaving with their free shopping. First, of course, was Little Miss Greedy. Hello, Miss Greedy. Oh, hello, Little Miss Late. Look what I've got, a free supper. Then came Mr. Oh. Rush with nothing at all. Oh. I've been around five times and eaten it all. <laughs> Gotta go, bye. Oh. Then came Mr. Skinny with a whole month's food. Two chips, four peas, and a piece of chocolate. <laughs> Yummy. Then came Little Miss Scatterbrain. Everything's free in there. Isn't that nice of them? Especially for a shoe store. And finally, uh -huh. Little Miss Shy, who ran by in case anyone spoke to her. Oh. And then Little Miss Bossy showed up. Of course, you're too late, Miss Late. As usual. Poor Little Miss Late. Not only wasn't she the first, she wasn't even the last. So she went home. The following day, she received a letter. A rummage sale with lots of bargains. 12 o'clock till 2 o'clock today. Don't be late. Oh, that sounds good. Just tied to brush my hair. And after she'd done a few other things as well, she was ready to leave. Oh, no. Maybe I'll even be the first and get all the bargains. On the way, she saw Mr. Clever. Are you going to read all those books? Read them, and of course not Miss Late, I wrote them. I and he started to tell her what they were about. Some of my books have been about really? famous people around the world, you know. Christopher Columbus, of course, I wrote oh about all his goodness. travels. I've written so many books, I can't yeah, possibly keep clever. track of them all, yes. Oh. And no sooner had Mr. Clever left than Mr. Chatterbox came around the corner. Hello, Mr. Chatterbox. Hello, if it isn't Little Miss Lee. Well, of course it is. I can see it is. And even if it wasn't, I'd still stop and have a little talk because talking makes the world go round. Don't you think I do? Uh, <laughs> well, not literally around. Gravity has something to do with it, but you know what I mean. And even if you didn't, you'd probably still stand there and listen to me because you're such a wonderful person and I love to talk. And of course... And he went on and on and on until finally, by the time she reached the rummage sale, Mr. Mean was closing up. Oh, I'm not late again, am I? No, of course you are. 
You're late for everything. Anyway, I've already taken all the bargains myself. Goodbye. Little Miss Late was so fed up that she thought she'd give herself a treat. I know. The movies. Oh, but I'm probably too late. It's already finished. Hello, Miss Late. You're nice and early. Early? Really? What for? Tomorrow's film. The first oh. person to arrive gets a free ticket. Here you are. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> The Mr. Men Show will be back after these messages. And now, back to the Mr. Men Show. Uh, now, Tooth Fairy, uh, you say that this is real fairy dust? Yep. One sprinkle and it's sleepy time! Well, I find that hard to believe. Goodbye and... Good news. Hey, pal. You ate... Hey, what, 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 what is it? Well, well, I ate so much that I can't get to sleep now. <laughs> you want to play a game? Oh. Guess not. <laughs> That's huh? Ah, not fair. I haven't slept all night. Eureka! Listen! Frank and Clown is not snoring. Now we can sleep. No, no, no sleeping. Morning time. <laughs> afternoon for the Name That Tune contest. We're going to be giving away some cool prizes. For more info, just keep it tuned here to Crew 32. Now stay tuned for DuckTales, coming up next. The dizzy and forgetful just like me and you. They got every kind of face, of every kind of mood. Sometimes so splendid and sometimes it's just rude. Well, who's always nosy? Who's full of sunshine? Who's such a chatterbox to drive you out of your mind? Well, there's never been a group like this. There's never been a group of friends quite like this, so hold on to your hat. We're Mr. Men, Little Men. Oh, yeah. You're watching WB32. 